hey guys welcome to text john white team once again so today in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can run a google ad campaign on your smartphone now if you want to learn how to do this using a laptop you can come to my videos and i uploaded a video a day ago this google ad tutorial 2025 for beginners where you can learn how to create google ad campaigns using your laptop now when you're using your smartphone you don't have to go to your browser search for google ads and then start using the web version the first thing you're going to do is you can come to your app store or your google play store come to the search bar and then search for google ads so now you can find the google ads application you're going to install it and then you can now open it so it's generally cleaner for you to use the application than for you to use the web version so now i'm going to tap on open and then we're going to be brought to this dashboard now on this dashboard if you're a first time user which you probably are since this tutorial is for beginners you're going to see that you're going to get 300 dollars in ad credits when you spend 300 dollars now that means that after spending your first 300 dollars you're going to be giving free ad credits for you to run another campaign now if you're just a beginner there's a high chance you're just testing the waters and you want to run a seven dollar eight dollar or ten dollar campaign so now you're going to be going through these three steps for you to achieve this the first is you're going to be adding your business in Info. the second is you're going to be creating your campaign goals and adding your budget and the third is you're going to be paying for your application and then you're going to access the google ad dashboard page so now i'm going to tap on get started and then the first thing you're going to see is you're going to ask for your business name i have already included that that's text on yt and then where should people go after clicking your ad i copied my youtube channel url and then i pasted it over here then I'm going to talk on next. Now, what are your goals for the campaign? Do you want purchases? If you're someone that sells something, if you're an online marketing business, you can tap purchases. If you want a, a survey or for people to fill out a form through your ad, then you're going to tap on that. Now, if you want phone call leads, you're going to tap on that. And if you want page views like myself, you're going to tap on this. You also see this toggle arrow to tap on more conversion goals. Here, you'll be brought to like more specific sales campaigns for people that own you know businesses and then you can see lead right here for those that want lead so now because i need page views i'm going to be tapping on page views now i'm going to be brought to this page and then i'm going to be entering the url i want people to see which is my youtube channel and then i'm going to tap on next now you're going to be brought to this tab and at the top of the page you can see performance marks and you can see search now search basically means your ads is going to be shown on top of google search results on the google search page meaning when people search for something that is relating to your business or even totally not related to your business your ad is going to be at the top of the google search page for an audience now there's also performance marks where your ad is going to be shown in different ad formats across all of google's network so it's generally recommended for you to pick the performance marks option now you can see your ad strength is currently incomplete and zero so now you're going to start adding assets so now here again you're going to review the link you want people to be directed to now you can add a headline to your ad so i'm just going to change that to check out this cool youtube channel uh this cool youtube and then you can leave the as uh, our headline and then our second headline can be don't miss out and now long headlines can go generally longer than that so you can actually type the full check out this cool youtube channel and now for your description you can say welcome to text region yt and for your second description you really want to see this channel now you're going to be asked to input two images one in landscape and one square image so that your google ad campaigns are going to be shown in different formats across people using different devices and you're also going to be required to push your logo now if you want to learn how to create different images that are going to work for this because you kind of need your aspect ratio on the first image to be 1080 by 1080 pixels you can easily do that on canva and then put in your first image to get a square image for both your first image and your logo image and now for you to get your landscape image your landscape image is going to be around 800 times 418 pixels for you to be able to get your landscape image so now i'm going to be putting a short tutorial show through on how to do this on canvas so you can see that right there but then if you want me to teach you in depth how to create this image 
kindly go to my telegram group and then you can just ask for that and then i'm going to be having a one-on-one -on -one section on how you can do that so now i'm going to tap on add images i'm going to come to upload i'm going to tap on add more and then i'm going to be selecting this as my first image then i'm going to tap on done and done and then we're going to be using the same image for our logo this done and done done and now for the second landscape image you're going to be tapping on add images upload add more and then we're going to be tapping on this wireframe image and then you're going to tap on done and done and now your two images have been added successfully now videos are very optional you can decide to make your ad campaign a video ad campaign maybe there's a short video you have recorded you can also upload that and now i get to review my business name again now you can see search teams now these are words or phrases people use when searching for your products or services so i can just use youtube now your audience signal this is optional to hard so now using an audio signal is going to reach the right audiences faster so now you're just going to add your audience goal and then performance max is going to use it as a starting point now if i tap on that it's just going to bring all of these audiences so it's always better you actually fill this down so when you come here you're going to choose your demographics if you want the people moving to your ad campaign to be more of the female male or an unknown audience so i'm going to leave that as female or male and now the ages you want your ad campaigns to be running since i want to tailor to a more younger audience i'm going to keep that between 18 and 44 and then in the additional demographics tab right here you can see if you want to add a parental status and then if you also want to add an household income and now for the audience name i'm going to put young names and then i'm going to tap on add so now that's the audience that your google ad is going to be tailoring to but this is not a setting that affects your account you can change this for every single ad campaign as you're creating them then i'm just going to tap on done and then i'm going to tap on next now here you can now select what you want to focus on if you want to focus on conversions or conversions value so i'm just going to leave that on conversions and then you can also see a lot of optional settings like goal settings when you want your ads to start and when you want them to end the locations of where you want your traffic to mostly be coming from your ad schedule if you want it to run through the day or through specific hours of the day and then your final url expansion if you want them to send traffic to relevant urls on your site or send traffic to only the url meaning my youtube channel that i provided and then you cannot tap on next next you're going to brought to this page asking how much you want to spend per day so there are already some preset values and if you want something lesser than that you can tap on select custom budget and then you can now input in your own budget so i'm going to be leaving that as five years the and then we're going to continue now your country right here you can see my country right here and my time zone and this shows that i'll qualify for an offer meaning that 300 ads credits i talked about at the beginning creating my first ad campaign i am eligible for the promotional credits and then i'm just going to tap on publish now once you tap on publish you're going to be brought to this page where you can add your payments method now that is my google adsense payments profile right there that i blowed at the top and then you can tap on this to add the payments method and then you can add your credit or debit card and then once you tap on summit you are going to be brought to the dashboard and then your google ad campaign is going to be started now i really really wish google added extra payments methods like using paypal as a payments method it's generally better to have options like that for countries where their credit or debit card is not accepted for international transactions or is not activated for international transactions like this so it's going to be better if you have other payments methods but since we don't have other payments methods you can use applications like cheaper cash for you to get credit or bit debit cards that are going to work for google ad campaigns like this so basically guys that's all for the video i hope the video was very helpful to you guys if you guys enjoyed the video please kindly hit the subscribe button right now and make sure to tap on the bell icon so that you get notifications to know when my new video is uploaded on this channel